guys, this is a video in response to a question I had about the neck opening being too large on the poncho. Wondering how to enclose it to fit. So I'm going to just do a quick tutorial on how to enclose it. Here I have the neck hole. I'm going to be using my hook. And I'm going to choose to use the lighter color. So I'm going to attach my yarn to my neck hole. What I like to do is do the slip knot, stick my hook inside of this, and I'm gonna go ahead and use I'm gonna I'm gonna attach it to the right of what I did is I found the back of my poncho, went to the back of the neck, and I'm gonna attach it to the back side, but I'm gonna move over a few stitches. So I'm gonna attach it about right here. So I made my slip knot, and then I'm just going to slip it over my hook, tighten it up, pull it through, and then chain one, and then do one more single crochet around into the same stitch that I started at. And then what I'm going to do is just do a single crochet into the next stitch, and there's no particular way to to do it just kind of evenly space it around the whole neck opening and you just want to do your single crochets and then we're getting closer now down to the corner where it's connected I think I'm going to go around into the center of this one and around doing a single crochet and then hmm, try to stick it into where it connects just so that it gives it that V look still so find a little space within there and do a single crochet just trying to get those little tails out of the way and then continue on the other side so I'll go around the big opening And then I think I'll go into this space and then around. So I think that's what I'll do is I'll just go in, around, in, around, all the way around, if that makes sense. So in that space, around, and just do all single crochets until you get to the next V opening where we connected the two sides together. So I'm going to just continue to evenly space some single crochet crochets all the way until the next part back here where we stitched together and I will meet you there. Okay I'm almost at the front of the poncho where we connected it where the other V um, opening, uh, well to me it looks like a V, like a, the opening of the neck for the poncho. Um, again I'm going to go into this stitch here, do my single crochet, and then again where we stitched it together just kind of find a space within there. Um, I'll just go in through about here, well let me try that again. Out right there so I picked up you know a few little stitches there and then just single crochet and then well, now we are into the brown area which is the other side so I'm gonna go into this first opening there and then evenly space it again with your single crochets and again, basically, I'm just going in between and into the stitch where the two meet. So in between, in, in between, in. And I'll continue to do that around to the next side where we started, where we began. And this is just going to give you sort of like an edging around it. So that way you could begin your decreasing 
And for your advanced crocheters, that's all we're going to do is after this, just go around and randomly decrease. Um, no specific number. You can decrease any way that you would like. And for the beginners, I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly how to decrease. I'm going to continue this to the other side and I will meet you there. Here I am at the back side where I first began my single crochets. I'm going to go ahead and single crochet into this last opening. And then I'm just going to slip stitch it to the beginning. The first single crochet. So I'm going to go into this stitch and just slip stitch it. and then chain one and then if you can tell you've got like this outline on your neck edge so when it's too big this is where we want to start decreasing so from here you just want to after you did your chain one you want to single crochet into the same stitch single crochet into the next stitch and then single crochet the next two stitches together so this is where you'll decrease so to do that you'll put your hook into the first stitch draw up a loop and then you will repeat that by going into the next stitch and drawing up another loop and now you have three loops on the hook you will wrap the yarn and pull it through all three loops on the hook. There you just made a single crochet decrease. So two stitches became one stitch. So again we're going to single crochet into the next two. And here we want to do a single crochet decrease. So again, draw up a loop into the next stitch, draw up another loop, three loops on the hook, wrap the yarn, pull through all three on the hook. And again, repeat that, just double, cro double crochet, I'm sorry, single crochet into the next two stitches. This is all single crochet and then single crochet two together. And re just repeat that all the way around until you get to the beginning. And I will meet you there. Here I am at the last few stitches. I am going to single crochet into the next two. And then one more single crochet decrease in the next two. And I'm back at the beginning, so I just want to slip stitch to the first single crochet. And then, as you can see, my neck opening is getting smaller. It's getting smaller and it's forming and it should form, you know, pretty good around the shoulders. And that's how I do my single, or my um, neck hole, that's how I make it. Um, smaller if you happen to uh, chain too long at the beginning and you make both of your rectangles too long it at times can make the neck hole just way too big so if you want to um, make it smaller you can just follow, follow this tutorial or basically for your advanced crocheters it's just a single crochet around the neck 
and then just um, in the next few and you can even go more than this you can go as far as you need to but just continue to do your single crochet decreases around until it fits you uh, I hope this tutorial was helpful if you have any questions please feel free to message me and if it didn't make sense at all I can re I can reshow you I can answer any questions um, but it's very very basic again um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you so much for all your feedback and your comments and questions that you have very appreciated bye bye